In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this round dish scrubby using the Mary Maxim Scrub It yarn. It's 100% cotton with fringe. And the size of this will fit the palm of your hand, which I think is the perfect size for your dish scrubby. So if you'd like to learn how to make this dish scrubby today, please join me in this tutorial and I will show you how to do it. So to make the scrubby, we are using the Mary Maxim Scrub It 100% um, cotton with fringe. And it recommends that you use a size 5 millimeter or US size 8 crochet hook. So I'm going to use my bamboo crochet hook. It's a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. And it does state um, that you can, it's machine washable. And I would not recommend washing this in the dishwasher. I know that some of the um, scrubbies made with the nylon or the tool, you can wash in the top shelf of the dishwasher, but this one is cotton. So this would definitely be one that you would wash in your washing machine. So the color that we're going to use to make this scrubby is called Harbor. It has um, an off-white color blue and tan so it's very pretty so let's go ahead and begin so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the label okay so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off with a magic ring okay so let's go ahead and make our magic ring okay so we want to go ahead and chain one and then do a single crochet and we're going to do five more single crochets for a total of six. That's two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull that tail to close up the ring so that we can join with a slip stitch to that very first single crochet that we made. Okay, so that completes round one. So now we're going to go ahead and do round two. So we're going to chain one. And we're going to do a single crochet into the same stitch. And then you're going to do another single crochet into that same stitch. So two single crochets into that stitch. And then we're going to do two single crochets in every stitch around. For this round. Two. Okay, next one we'll have two. Okay, so now we do want to use a stitch marker. So you can use a piece of yarn, or since I have the magic tail sticking out here, I'm going to use that as my stitch marker. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert it into that first single crochet I did and pull that tail through so I know where I began the round. Okay, so now that was, we're doing two single crochets in every single stitch. So I'm going to continue. The next stitch will have two. Two into the next one. And then two single crochets into the next stitch. So now we want to go ahead and count our stitches. We're supposed to have 12. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So now I'm going to do a, a slip stitch that very first single crochet when we begin round two. Okay, so we are going to do the third round now. So I'm going to pull that little tail out that I used for my stitch marker from the magic ring. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a chain one and do a single crochet into that same stitch. And then put your stitch marker in that stitch or I'm just going to use the tail from the magic ring as my stitch marker. Okay, so we did one single crochet into the first stitch of this round. So the next one we want to do two single crochets. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch. And then two into the next. So we're alternating. We're doing one single crochet, then two, and then one single crochet, and then two. And we're doing that all the way around to complete this third round. So that was two single crochets, so we're going to do one in the next one. 
and then two single crochets into the next stitch. Then one single crochet. Next one we'll do two. And one single crochet. Then we're going to do two. And then one single crochet into the next one. And then two into the next stitch. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and count our stitches because we should have 18 stitches when we're done with round three. Let me go ahead and count. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect. So now I'm going to join with a slip stitch that very first stitch that we did there of round three. Okay, so that completes round three. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove that stitch marker that I'm using the tail for that and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do a single crochet into that same stitch and then you want to replace your stitch marker okay so this one we did one the next stitch we'll do a single crochet so a single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch. Now the next stitch we're going to do two single crochets. And then the next two stitches we'll do one single crochet. One. The next one, one single crochet. Okay, into the next stitch we want to do two single crochets. Okay, and then we'll do one single crochet into the next one. One single crochet into the next one after that. And then we're going to do two single crochets into the next stitch. And then one single crochet in the next two stitches. That was one. Next stitch we'll do one single crochet. Next stitch we will do two single crochets. Okay, next one. One single crochet and then the next one after that, one single crochet. Okay, so in the next stitch we want to do two single crochets. Next stitch the next two stitches, just one single crochet. One and one. And then let's go ahead and count our stitches now. One. Okay, they're a little tricky to see with the fringe a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So for this round, we should have 24 stitches when we're done. So the next one, we need to do two single crochets into that stitch. So that, now we have 24 single crochets for round three. So let's go ahead and join with the slip stitch to the first single crochet that we did when we started round three. Okay, so that completes round three. And we need to do some more rounds. We're not quite done yet. Okay, so we want to make it um, big enough that it fills the palm of our hand. That's when we know it's big enough. So that was round three. So let's go ahead and chain one. And we're going to do a single crochet into that same stitch. And then we need to put our stitch marker into that one so we know where we began the round. Okay, so now the next two stitches we'll do one single crochet. That's one, 
one single crochet. Okay, so the first one we did one single crochet. Next stitch we did one single crochet. In this third stitch of the round we did one single crochet. So in the next stitch, the fourth stitch of this round, we will do two single crochets. And then the next three stitches, one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Okay, next stitch we will do two single crochets. And then the next three stitches we will do one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so that's one. One single crochet in this one. And one single crochet in the third. Okay, so the next stitch we want to do two single crochets. Okay, and then the next three stitches we'll do one single crochet into the next three stitches. Just one. One. Okay, in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochets into the same stitch. And then one single crochet into the next three stitches. Okay, the next stitch we will do two single crochets. Okay, in the next stitch we're going to do one single crochet. So we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. Let's go ahead and do one single crochet. Next stitch, one single crochet. One single crochet in the next stitch. So in this next stitch we will do two single crochets. So, we, okay, so when we're done with this round, we should have 30 single crochets. So I'm going to go ahead and count my stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oops, let me go ahead and count that again. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Perfect. So now we're going to join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet that we did when we started the round. Okay, so that completes round four. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start round five. So I'm going to take my stitch marker out and we're going to do a chain stitch and then we're going to do one single crochet into this stitch here. Let's go ahead and replace our stitch marker so we know where we began the round. And this is round five. Okay, so we did one single crochet into this one. So we want to do one single crochet into the next three stitches. There's one one single crochet one so that was one single crochet here in the next three stitches so the first four stitches of this round we did one single crochet so now we want to do two single crochets into the next stitch okay and then we're going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches Okay, and then one single, I'm sorry, we did one single crochet into these four stitches there. So the next stitch we're going to do two single crochets. Okay, next four stitches, one single crochet each. So that's one. Okay, so the next stitch we will do two single crochets. Okay, and then we're going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, 
One, two, three, four, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. And then one single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the next four. So there's one, two, And then the next stitch we will do two single crochets. Okay, and then we want to stop here and count our stitches. At the end of this round, we will have 36 single crochets. So let me go ahead and count. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 35, 36. Perfect. So now we want to join with a slip stitch to that one. with the slip stitch done with round six and now that we have 36 single crochets we are done you can see the size fills the palm of your hand and I think that's the perfect size for this simple scrubby now I'm going to go ahead and add a little edging to this so what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and do a slip stitch into the next stitch and then chain one slip stitch into the next stitch chain one slip stitch into the next stitch and we're just going to do that all the way around. Chaining one, slip stitch into the next. So this chain one and slip stitch into every single stitch around. That's how we're going to do that. Chain one, slip stitch to the next. Chain one, slip stitch into the next stitch. So you can see how that's given a little edging there instead of being like that. I think it just gives a nice finished edge. Okay, so let's do that all the way around. Chain one. Slip stitch into the next chain one. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to keep doing that all the way around. Chain one. Slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch. Okay, so we just repeat that all the way around. Just chain one, slip stitch to the next stitch, chain one, slip stitch into the next. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until I'm finished with this round, and then I will meet you back here. Okay, so I'm almost done with this round. I'm right to be right here where the stitch marker is. So I did a chain one. I'm going to do a slip stitch into this one, and then I'm ready to fasten off. So I'm going to cut my yarn here right there and then I'm going to do insert it into the next stitch and I'm just going to do a slip stitch and then pull that through give it a tug to fasten off and then we can weave in the tail so that was the magic ring tail there I pulled it through to use it as a stitch marker so I'm going to pull that out of there I'm just going to give it a tug to close up that center circle and then I'm going to weave in that tail to finish off Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut that too. Okay, now weave in this too. Okay, so now that I have woven in that tail, I'm going to go ahead and cut that right there. I hope that you found the tutorial helpful today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope you will subscribe. That way you won't miss my next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.